Welcome back to my channel, that is Pharma Info with Shubhashish. Now today um, we have brought a topic that is uh, nomenclature of polycyclic system. But basically uh, we'll focus on this tricyclic system, right? Because uh, as um, being a person of pharmacy and all, because in pharmacy uh, we have to deal with so many compounds and all, so many bioactive compounds and all. So in that uh, tricyclic system is found to be one of them, right? We have dealt with this. Uh, tricyclic system but uh, all often we we got stuck while uh, framing the name of the tricyclic system right i can give you a few examples uh, that uh, i think probably the third year as well as the fourth year students uh, who have already come across with those compounds like your uh, say uh, what is that amantadine right samantadine then your uh, few more are there okay uh, we'll see we'll see a few more few more are there uh, which are also having this tricyclic system but uh, the thing is that uh, often we find it a uh, bit difficult, right, to handle, right? Okay, let us see that uh, up to what extent we can just ease it, right? As we are doing with the disease and all, right? With the incorporation of a drug, we just uh, remove the disease to make the system ease. Same thing here also. So in my last video, uh, okay, uh, you might have gone uh, uh, through the last video that is uh, the nomenclature of bicyclic system and all, okay? So in continuation to that particular bicyclic system, We'll just move on to the tricyclic one. Okay, so let us just deal with this tricyclic system. So, what exactly the rule which need to be followed? Okay, while dealing with the tricyclic system the nomenclature, right? Okay. So now the thing is that in case of tricyclic system, let me just brush it up once again. What exactly we did in bicyclic system? If the system is found to be bicyclic one, we have seen that there are three different categories and all, right? And uh, the one uh, which is found to be a bridged one, that means I'm talking about the middle one, right? The bridged one, right? The bridged one, there we found that yes, uh, uh, some rules are being followed and all. Okay, okay. We have also seen that the rule which is followed for in, in case of fused one, at the same time uh, in case of uh, the spiro one. But yes, uh, majorly our focus was on this uh, the bridged one, right? So how it goes? It is something like this. So it's a system, it's a monocyclic system, right? If we just put one bridge here, it has become a bicyclic one, right? So the usual trend is just find out, point out the bridge heads, right? Once we are done with this bridge heads, the next thing is two branches, okay? They are being uh, found to be made up of even number of, uh, you know, atoms and all. So that means the components and all, okay? So this is basically the, the components, that is the common point what we can say these are the this is the common these two are the common points and we have two branches and this is found to be the variance that is the bridge which is made up of a single point so likewise and we have to count the number of the system okay and by naming it it corresponds to the number of atoms it suggests the number of atoms that the entire skeleton is made up of right so likewise we have just name it one two three four five six and seven right six and seven so it has become, a, it, it is a seven-membered, okay, carbocyclic compound, right? So that means heptan, right? So heptan, and moreover, this is a bicyclic system, so that means bicyclo. In the third bracket, or in the third parenthesis, what are the things that we need to put? We need to put the information, information of the composition of each every branch, excluding these two points, in each and every case. Be it for the first one, the second one, and the variant one, right? And the variant one. So what is how it goes? Here it is made of two. This one is two. This one is one. So likewise, two, two, one. So this is the trend that we are following while well, you know <coughs> dealing with this bicyclic system, right? Now the thing is that assume that all on a sudden I have just put one bond here. I've just linked the position five and three. And this is the third point and this fifth point, right? This third locate number and the fifth locate number. So that means now no longer it is in a bicyclic form. It has become a tricyclic one. If we just try to figure it out in a in a cleanest way, right? Cleanest way, how it looks, it is something like this. Like this. In that case, what we should follow? Now here, in addition to this, the primary bridge, we have a secondary bridge as well. So that means the extra thing that came into that came into the picture is the appearance of or evolution of the secondary bridge. So this is the thing that we have to ponder over, right? So what is that exactly? How this can be presented and all while while, while framing the name and all, right? 
Okay, so now let us still, uh, you know, in a fresh way. Now, okay, now let us see this one, right? Okay. So that means here, the primary bridge at the same time, secondary bridge. Now, how will you differentiate it? Okay, that means in order to, you know, differentiate the primary bridge from the secondary one, how this can be done? How the differentiation can be made? So now you, you need to count the number of atoms present in each and every bridge. Okay. So this is found to be the bridge, the first one, the first one, it is having only one component or rather one point. Whereas coming to this, it is having no point. That means zero. So in that case, this will get the priority. This will get the priority and this will come. This is found to be the least prior one, right? So this is found to be the least prioritized and this is found to be the the prioritized one right okay so likewise we have prioritized this particular bridge now so how the numbering goes like one two three the same thing follows right four five and then we can say this is the six and this is the seven right okay so likewise it goes right okay so now we are done with the locate number and all the same thing so that means you need to count the number of atoms on the basis of that you have to frame the name of that alkene so as it is comprised of seven because nothing changed in their elemental composition it is as same as that of the earlier one when it was in the bicyclic state right now as it is uh, comprised of seven members so seven carbons so that means it's basically capital right but we have now there is no longer bicyclic system it's a tricyclic system that means instead of bicyclo so it should be prefixed with tricyclic now, now let us move on to the information which has to be kept in the third bracket or the third parenthesis, right? So what is that? So within the square bracket, what you need to put? You need to put the information of what? Information of the branches, okay? That means branches along with the variance, right? So let us deal with the first one. That means there's two branches and this is the variance, the primary bridge, right? So how many are there? One, two, two points, likewise two. Then one, two, again two points, then only one. And after that, coming to this, coming to this, that means now we have to focus on the secondary bridge. We have to put the information of the secondary bridge in the third bracket only, right? So how this can be put in a straight way? So in a, in a straight way, we have to put what? The number of component present in the secondary bridge, okay? And in that process, we have excluded what? The connector, here also, here also. The one which we did while dealing with the primary bridge, the same thing has to be done, has to be repeated here also. That means this has to be excluded, right, in that very process. We need to count that whether is there any atom present in between or not, right? It's not that key, the one, the, 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 the original point, right? Okay, chalo. In that case, it is, it is made up of no atom, right? It is made up of no atom. So that means no atom means zero. Now, we need to mention the locant number. This is the additional information apart from this. Now the thing is that we have just put the number of component that the secondary bridge is made up of. And the next thing is now on top of it, we need to put the exact location with respect to the whole system. The exact location with respect to the whole numbering where exactly it is located, third and fourth position. So on top of it, you have to put three comma four. Let me just make it more. Yeah. 3 comma 4 right on top of it you have to put 3 comma 4 so how it goes if we just make it uh, zoom in this will be something like 2 dot 2 dot 1 dot 0 to the power not to the power rather raised to the power 3 comma 4 so it is the 3 comma 4 it indicates the location of the secondary bridge so this is found to be the secondary bridge and this is found to be the primary bridge so on the basis of what we have categorized them on the basis of the number of component that each and every one of them is made up of right Chalo. so if that is the case we have to put like 2210 3 comma 4 what what it means it means it indicates that where exactly the secondary bridge is located with respect to the whole system the whole skeleton and what about zero zero indicates the composition of the secondary bridge and this is as same as that of the bicyclic system right okay so with that we are done with what the basic way by which 
a tricyclic system can be named. Okay, so this is the way that you need to follow. While looking particular, while looking at the particular structure, first you have to split them into two different things. That means you, you need to isolate what the primary from the secondary, right? So once you are done with this primary and secondary, that means once you are done with the uh, you know order of priority and all, then move on to the next like this. Count the number of atoms that is made up of, and in the in the process of numbering. Whether any hetero atom is present or not, you 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 must be blind. Okay, in uh, in catching that one, you, you must be blind. Why? Because you are not supposed to you are not supposed to exclude it from the naming of the while naming the you know name of the, uh, while naming the uh, cycloalkanes and all right. Okay, that means as I said in my last video while dealing with this bicyclic system nomenclature and all right. So whether nitrogen or sulfur or any hetero atom is present or not, that has to be included in the whole numbering whole numbering or whole uh, you know naming whole process of naming that means the cycloalkane should be named irrespective of the presence of whether carbon is there or nitrogen is there whether nitrogen is there that has to be considered as a pseudo carbon and likewise it has to be included in the process of naming of the cycloalkane right okay chalo. so this is the thing that we have to follow in case of tricyclic system now we'll deal with few you know applications few problems and all so that at least we can strengthen the understanding and all right okay. so uh, now the thing is that uh, you know, we are done with the, the basic thing that means uh, what exactly what should uh, what should be the trend or what should be the way by which a tricyclic system can be named right now suppose uh, a particular situation arises where you face a difficulty in choosing which one is found to be the primary which one is found to be the secondary why because suppose a situation arises uh, where uh, the both the bridges are made up of same number of atoms so at that time what you should do so for that let us bring one example first okay let us still bring that first okay suppose key we have a, uh, like this okay a cargo cyclic one right at present we are not just uh, uh, we should not make it more complicated right let us just uh, deal with this cargo cyclic then we'll move to the heterocyclic right or hetero cyclic right so now let us just put uh, two bridges, right? Uh, okay, uh, like uh, this and this, right? So both are made up of what? Because these are the bridge heads, it should be excluded. Count the number of points of the variance. That means one two, one two, two two. Both are found to be similar, right? Same number. So that means you are in a mess, which has to be picked up. Either of this, either of them can be picked up, right? As a primary, as well as secondary. The other one is a secondary, right? So let us say that, uh, okay, let us just consider this as a primary, okay? Let me just take this one. So this is as a primary. So this is the bridge which is the primary one, right? The primary one. Subsequently, this has to be considered as secondary, right? Okay. Now what you need to do? You need to count the number of atoms. Why? Because first and foremost, we have to see that how many number of atoms are there. On the basis of that, we'll decide. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll just frame the name of that cycloalkane, right? Okay. So how many are there? So this is primary. That means you have to initiate the process from here. Now, one. Shall we follow this direction or this direction? That means here, the major component. So this is for if we just split this particular the entire thing into two different fragments. This is found to be the one compartment. This is the other compartment. Okay. On the basis of that, we have to prioritize them, right? So this is the major compartment that means it goes like this it goes like this come to this level and then finish it up with this right so this is the way you have to put the locating number so that means you're not supposed to follow this way rather this way why because this is the major compartment what we can say so this is one two three four five six seven eight this is nine primary information ten this is eleven and this one is twelve right so twelve 12 means a carbocycle or a, any you know cycloalkane or alkane comprised of 12 carbon. Scholars as what? We know that uh, 10 means taken, 11 means undecan, 12 means dodecan, right? Okay, chalo. So 12 carbon means dodecan. Dodecan. 12C, right? So 12C is dodecan. Now, so it's dodecan basically. That means it should come at the latter part, at the end part, right? And what should be prefixed? Three cycles are there, so that means tricyclo. So tricyclo, do, decan. 
right now let us deal with <coughs> the input at this location right okay so what should be incorporated here in the third parenthesis or the third bracket okay the information about the the composition of each and every branch right so this is the major compound so first let us deal with the primary bridge right so primary bridge holding what two branches so this is found to be the one branch this is the other branch and this is the variance right so that means an bicyclic tricyclic tetracyclic hexacyclic pentacyclic okay bicyclic means b for big as i told in my last video b for big this is the way you should remember the order of numbering the order of numbering that means the order or the order which should be placed here whether it is ascending mode or it's descending mode b for big that means you need to make it descending order that means from highest to lowest in a simple sense on the contrary if we just uh, look back to the spiral s for small small means like this like this from lowest to highest that means here if we follow like 4 3 1 here it is 1 3 4 like this right okay you might have remembered this one okay, if you have followed my last video right <coughs> now so now the thing is that so that is big that means the order that is first we have to cover this one this one this part then we have to come to this part and then finally this is the rest okay so that means here this is the compartment which is made up of what this has to be excluded this has to be excluded so 1 2 3 4 4, 4 points are there put four here what ascending or descending here it is descending that means highest to lowest we have put the highest one now coming to this branch right it comprises of how many 1 and 2 so 1 and 2 means put two here now we are left with this variance the variance is 1 2 that means two put here now coming to the secondary bridge the secondary bridge okay so what are the information that need to be incorporated here the composition of the secondary bridge and the location with respect to the whole numbering with respect to the whole system where exactly this is located right and we have seen that at a stretch you cannot put this one right that means a stretch along with and on over it something should be uh, placed right so what is that It comprises of how many two? So that means you are supposed to put two here, and on top of it you have to put the location. So location is two and five. So this is five. We followed this direction, not that direction, right? Why? Because this is the major compartment. First we have to cover up this one, and then we have to move to this. Come to come to this uh, branch, right? So likewise, so two and five. So on top of it or over it you just write two comma five, and finally we are done with what? Do decim. So as a whole this is tricyclo four two two two. 2 comma 5 dot again 2 comma 5 indicates what the location of what the secondary bridge with respect to the whole system right and 4 2 2 2 up to this this is the information of the primary bridge this is the information of the secondary bridge the composition this is the composition right see and on over it what is there 2 comma 5 that is the relative location that means the location of the location of the secondary bridge with respect to the whole system right so with that we are done with what how uh, what exactly we should do when two bridges are made up of same number or similar number of atoms right in that case i think now things uh, has become much easy for you right it has become much easier for you to understand what should be done when it is found to be made up of even or odd number or same number of atoms you know that means the primary bridge as well as secondary bridge right okay now the thing is that suppose ki if i just put one nitrogen here replacing the carbon with the nitrogen and here nh assume that all on a sudden i have just modified the system just make it earlier it was exclusively carbocyclic now it has become a partial heterocyclic right a partially heterocyclic right and we have put a nitrogen here we have put a nitrogen here we can put nitrogen here and at any location right except the bridge and all yes you can put a uh, nitrogen at bridge as well because each and every point we have a locating number so what i should do here that means after counting the whole number put the name here put the name here name suggest how many number of atoms irrespective of their elemental composition it is made up of excluding the hydrogen irrespective of their chemical composition that means whether it is made up of carbon nitrogen oxygen sulfur you need to count them okay you need to include them okay you need to include them that means in the process of naming the cyclic alkyl you should consider the hetero atom as a pseudo carbon atom then only you can solve the issue then only you can solve the issue otherwise not right 
you have to address the challenge, right? And the challenge is, shall we include it or not? Yes, we have to include. And for that, in order to, just to avoid the mess and all, you need to consider the hetero atom as, as what? A pseudo carbon atom. Then, I think that it will be in a driving state, right? Now, <clears throat> so do again. So that means, what, what additional thing we need to incorporate here? The pattern as well as the position. What is the position? 3. Put 3 here. And after that, the pattern is nitrogen 3, followed by a dash, after that, as a, and then the rest of the things, right? And before that, as it is having a hydrogen, that means it's better to put 3H, and after that, 3 as a, then tricyclo 4, 2, 2, 2, then 2, and then 2, 5, Pro close the third bracket, followed by dodecan, right? So with that, we are done with what? The naming of tricyclic system. Now, Okay, now let us deal with uh, uh, a pharmaceutically uh, developed compound, right? Or we can say, let us deal with a medicinal compound, right? So let us deal with a medicinal compound. Uh, so what is that? Uh, let us just uh, pick uh, one anti Parkinsonian drug, amantadine, right? Okay. Amantadine, right? Because it is the amantadine that possesses a tricyclic system. So now let's deal with this amount. As I said, that is a, it is an example uh, of a, a tricyclic system. Okay, so on a tricyclic system, this is the drug. Okay, that we can deal with uh, or deal upon with, right? So now amantadine, uh, the common name for this tricyclic system is found to be. This is for your information only. There is adamantin. You can find it in IUPAC as well, right? But uh, if we are dealing with a tricyclic system, we'll not stick to this, right? We we'll just try to frame the IPC and all. So how it goes? Now before that, let us just frame the structure, right? So how the structure is? The structure is something like this. Cyclohexane. Another cyclohexane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Two cyclohexanes. That means it's a bicyclic system, right? Now if I just put another bridge here, this will become what? A tricyclic system. Now here, how many bridges are there? So what I told, first and foremost, you need to find that uh, whether the tricyclic system comprised of how many bridges. Tricyclic means two bridges, right? Okay. Now you need to prioritize them. So this is the first bridge. Or rather, we have not prioritized yet. So that is why this is one of the bridge. This is the other bridge. This two bridges, right? So now it seems that uh, both the bridge, they comprised of what? Only one one point, right? That means the same number of points. The one that we dealt with the general, you know, naming and all, right? Earlier. So, so the thing is that either of them, either of this can be considered as a primary bridge, right? So let us just say that uh, this is the primary bridge. Okay. This is the one. This is found to be the primary one, right? So definitely this will be the secondary one. The second, right? Okay. Now we'll see that is there any other thing that is also there in adam uh, amantadine because this is the nucleus of adamantine, right? Now what is amantadine? If we just put one amino here, this will become amantadine, right? Okay. Now, so as we have considered this as a primary bridge, that means we should start our numbering from either of the bridges, right? Either of the bridge heads. And definitely we should stick to this bridgehead. Why? Because this is the one that is holding what? That is holding the primary functional group. Oh, sure. So that means the parent group is there at this position. That is why this is the bridgehead which has to be chosen as position number one. So likewise, one. Now shall we go, shall we off this uh, side or this side? Okay, that means the major component and minor component. So here, if we just count the number of uh, you know points which are there in each and every bridge, every branch, right? Every branch, branches. So that is found to be same. One, two, three. Here also one, two, three. In that case, we should opt this part, right? Either of the pathway, either of the either of the side can be chosen, right? Uh, you know, for the for the for for putting up for putting up this uh, putting up this or uh, pointing the long head look in number and all, right? So definitely as we go, as we uh, move further, so this is 1, this is 2, this one is 3, this one is 4, 
this one is 5, 6, 7, 8, then first primary, then secondary, 9, and this one is 10. So with that we are done with what? With that we are done with the, the naming of the cycloalkane, right? Now as it is totally carbocyclic, that means no question of mentioning the position of the heteroatom, right? All are found to be same. So in that case, we can avoid the incorporation of this heteroatom and its location, right? And its locant number as well. So this is the carbocyclic system comprised of 10 carbon. That means no, no dodecan, no undecan, simply decan. So this is the one. The suffix is there with us. It's a tricyclic system. The prefix is also there with us. Tricyclo. And on top of it, at position 1, it is holding what? One amino. Okay. One amino. Chalo. One amino, tricyclo, decan ho gaya. In dono ke beech mein kya lana hamko? In dono ke beech mein square bracket lana hamko. That means the third parenthesis. And there we have to put the information. Information pertaining to the branches. Information pertaining to the bridge. Right? Or bridges. Why? Because primary and secondary. Both are there. So the first thing, let us deal with the first one, the primary one, the primary one. So this is one of the branch, this is the other branch, and this is the variance, right? Now we need to count the number of points. So here, how many points are there? And in the process of counting the points, this two has to be excluded. That means the bridge heads, irrespective of whether it is primary and secondary, bridge heads should not be counted, should not be counted while counting the number of points in each and every bridge, right? Chalo. So now the thing is that here how many points are there? 1, 2, 3. So likewise 3. Right? Here also 1, 2, 3. Right? So 3. Here it is 1, 1. So we are done with the, we are done with the, we are done with the primary. Now coming, moving to the secondary one. So secondary, what are the information that we have to put here? The composition of the secondary, that is it comprised of the same number, 1. So put 1 here. What is left in the process? The process is we have to mention the position or the relative position of what? The secondary bridge. That means with respect to the whole numbering where exactly it is located. That is 3 and 7. So now on over it, over this one, 3 comma 7. So as I hold this is 1 amino, tricyclo, 3, 3, 1, 1, 3 comma 7 taken. 3 comma 7 means the information of this secondary bridge. Secondary bridge where exactly it is located. 1 means the composition of the secondary bridge. These are the information 331, the two branches and one variance, right? So with that we are done with what? The naming of amantelic. Now I think that um, you must feel some, some kind of comfort in dealing with this, uh, uh, the IPC name rather sticking to this adamantine nucleus, right? Okay, for your information it is adamantine nucleus but as we have learned how to frame, how to frame the name of this tricyclic system, I strongly suggest please stick to this. Okay, if you have understood it clearly or properly, please stick to this. Okay, now let us bring another example, right? Another example in which we'll incorporate what? In which we'll incorporate the heteroatom, right? Because this is a carbocyclic system, right? Carbocyclic system and that to a tricyclic system. Now let us bring another tricyclic system in which, uh, you know, uh, the heteroatoms are there, right? Heteroatoms are there. We have an example like um, in case of uh, uh, urinary tract infection, right? Urinary tract, tract infection, one particular drug uh, as a prophylaxis, this can be given and for a long term, long term therapy also, this is one of the drug which is still there in the market and still being recommended by this urologist especially to the patient who is suffering from urinary tract infection. Though it is not, it cannot provide us this anti-infective property. It's not a, a pure level of antibiotics, but still for the maintenance therapy and all or the recurrent infection and all, this is found to be the drug of choice, right? And the name of the drug is methinamide, or we can say hexamine. Hexamine, right? If we just expand it, hexamine, it comes like hexamethylene, tetramine, hexamethylene tetramine, right? Now, apparently, it seems that while dealing with this particular general name and all. So there are methylene group groups that appears multiple times, six times it appears. Hexamethylene, tetramine, that means four amines are there, four nitrogens. They are found to be amine, right? So all the things we have to incorporate in a cyclic system. 
and make and develop a system which is tricyclic in nature. Now let's see with how this can be made and all. So this is found to be a road map towards making that particular you know structure, right? Okay. Now, so now uh, the thing is that so this is found to be hexamethylene tetramine. Which one? The eurotropin or hexamine, the one which can be given to the patient who is suffering from urinary tract infection, right? Okay. Chal. So hexamethylene tetramine, as I said, that six methylene group you have to place in a cyclic system. How they can be placed? Let's see. Okay. Now, say, um, okay, we'll put CH2 here, we'll put CH2 here, we'll put CH2 here, we'll put CH2 here. So we are done with four, still two left, right? Two are left. So, okay. We'll put CH2 here and we'll put CH2 here. Right? So we have placed what? We have placed the methylene moiety. Right? Or methylene groups or methylene fragments, right? All around this uh, area, right? We have taken this area, right? Now tetraemine, uh, tetramine. That means we have to connect them all together with the help of amine back to four nitrogens. Okay. Chalo, dekh lete hai, kaise hota hai? Uh, okay, for our convenience, let me just make it more chemically significant, right? Okay. Because like this, okay. So one nitrogen, second nitrogen, the third nitrogen, the fourth nitrogen. So we are done, right? Oh. It is a system, say in a box you have put two methylene group, it seems like at this very moment, right? It's, but it, that is not so. Why? Because I have to make it, I have taken the assignment in which I have to make a tri tricyclic system with this many components, right? The components I have placed. I have partially arranged them in such a manner so that I am done, almost done with the making and all. But right now what is left in the process, I have to make this monocycle into a tricyclic system. Okay. So how this can be done? Something like this. And like this. Can we see? We are done with tricyclic system? Yes. Why not? This is the example of tricyclic system. Now, with that, we can say yes, it is a tricyclic system, right? Chalo. So all the sides are found to be same, right? This side CH two and CH two. This side CH two and CH two. CH two and same thing, right? All are found to be same, okay? In their arrangement and all, in their feature and all, right? So that means A of the point has to be chosen. So this is found to be the bridge head, and both the bridge here, see, uh, like uh, this, as well as this. These two bridges are there and both are comprised of a single significant point, right? So this is one point, this is one point. So both are made up of what? One point. So that means either of them can be chosen as a chosen as a primary bridge. So let us assume that. So this is found to be the primary one. So this is found to be the secondary one. So from the primary on only we have to start the numbering. How it goes? Okay, like this. Say one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then the primary 9 and then 10. So how many are there? 10. 10 means nitrogen has to be considered as a pseudo carbon atom because we have to name it in the form of carbocyclic system, not with, not in the in the form of a heterocyclic system, right? So it's a carbocyclic system, you have to assume it. So 10 are there, 10 components are there, that means 10 carbons are there. Out of that 6 are originally carbon. And four are found to be pseudocarbon, right? So in that case, we have to put straightway decan. Decan, right? So this is decan. Now, four nitrogens are there. Where exactly they are placed? One, three, five, seven. So that means one, three, five, seven. Position and pattern. Pattern means as a. How many are there? Four. That means tetra. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 3, 5, 7, the locations and the pattern. Pattern is as a, how many are there? 4, that means 1, 3, 5, 7, tetra as a, okay. Then system is bicyclo, tricyclo, tricyclo, so tricyclo. Then comes the information which should be put in third bracket or square bracket, right. Informations are informations related to the branch, right. 
So let us see this the, the, the first branch, the second branch, and the third the variance and all, right? Okay. How many points are there? So these two are the bridge heads, should not be considered, right? How many points are there? One, two, three. Put three here. Then this branch. Ignore this two. One, two, three. Here also three. Now next, the variance, that means the bridge, right? Comprised of a single atom, single point rather. So it's one. Now coming to coming to this, coming to this section. That means the secondary bridge. So this is found to be the secondary bridge, right? This is found to be the secondary bridge. Only a single point is there. So that means first the composition, second, where exactly it is located. It is located with and the location has to be has to be determined with respect to the overall number, right? So it is three and seven. So on top of it is three comma seven. So with that we are done with the overall naming of what? Hexamine. That is an anti-infective given in the treatment of urinary tract infection. So how it goes? 1, 3, 5, 7, 4, tetra. What is that? As a system is tricyclo, the component of the branches and all. So this is the primary bridge. These are the two branches and this is the variance. 3, 3, 1. That means 3 points, 3 points, 3 points, 3 points, 3 points, 1 point and then Coming to the secondary bridge, comprised of a single atom, that means single point, so single point for that one, and 3, 7 means the relative location, the relative location of this bridge, right, with respect to the overall thing, that is 3 and 7, so this is the 3, and this one is the 7, 3 comma 7, and finally this is, 10 components are there, 10 points are there, so that means they can, so with that we are done with another, you know, uh, IUPAC naming of a tricyclic system. Now the thing is that, um, so with that uh, almost we are done okay, uh, in this session and all. Now I strongly suggest please uh, bring some examples, bring some examples every now and then, first develop the understanding, bring some example, deal with them and just try to solve it. Try to solve them without seeing their IPC name because this, in these days it, it just, uh, you just one click away okay, to get the information that means in net and all right. So just try to be genuine with, to yourself right. First, get the get the compound, get the structure, deal with the structure, spend some quality times with the structure, and then try to frame the IPC name that too of your own on the basis of your understanding, and then just compare it or tally it with the one that is there in the Google, right? Okay. So this is my sincere suggestion. If you would really want to learn and just and if you want really want to learn and just make others understand the fact and file that is there within this tricyclic system, right? So with that, I am done with today's discussion. If you like my video, please don't forget to put the like buttons and please do subscribe to my channel so that I can grow and leave your valuable comments. Your comments are very important for me to grow in a in that too in a suitable manner, right? So yeah, thank you for your patience and all. Thank you.